Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Mason, and I'm an alcoholic. Uh, my sober day is... When is it? It's uh, June 15th, 2018. And the way that I have been able to do that is through God, my higher power, one day at a time. But it wasn't that easy uh, when I first decided to not blow my brains out and get some spiritual help and go to treatment. Uh, I had to pray like every minute or every five minutes or every 30 minutes or however bad it got. And then eventually, the more separated I was from the alcohol and drugs, the easier it got for me. And it wasn't easy at first. I had to lose a lot of good people. Uh, my friend, he, uh, my running buddy, who I got all my dope from, he had to get locked up. He got 30 years in a uh, federal penitentiary. Uh, my other two best friends died. And the roommate, one of my friends who took me in off the streets, he died too. So my disease took me, uh, I ended up being homeless in the back of uh, Kroger on Shinaway. It's what we used to call the shit pit where we used to go as kids and smoke weed and stuff and it ended me basically homeless uh, I had a job and I was still working thankfully those people didn't fire me or things could have got a whole lot worse but I was basically sleeping outside and still still working and to me that's uh, that's insanity in itself but uh, this guy I met at this old church called Quest, the 21 group, uh, he, he started talking to me about some things that started to really make sense. And one of the things he talked about was sober living. And eventually, well, before I got into sober living, uh, I asked this man to be my sponsor. And he went through the house and everything, and I, um, I went to the house too. But uh, they weren't going to let me in at first because I had a certain, I had marijuana in my system or whatever. But the guy who I came with went in there and uh, basically rode for me. Basically said that it took this guy 30 days to get off uh, heroin, meth, everything else I was on under the sun, alcohol. And uh, basically they let me in, which is very cool. And I've been there going on just about three years. I relapsed once, went back to treatment, went to Recovery Works in Georgetown for the second time, and uh, went through the steps. Yeah, I'm going through the steps for, I think, the fourth time. I'm on my fourth, fourth step. So that's how I have got the most uh, freedom and the most relief from stuff that was really bothering me. And uh, holding me back and holding me prisoner but uh, and I've done it one day at a time that's how I've done it when I have bad days I count the hours left of the day there's five hours left of this day I'm gonna go to bed at 12 it's eight or nine right now so it's really not that bad and I've noticed too that my problems are of my own making us as alcoholics we like to blow shit up out of proportion and uh, create these uh, scenarios in our mind that are just as insane as the drugs or alcohol. So for me, I have to be aware of that shit too and keep shit real simple and uh, meet people where they are. And that's really hard as alcoholic because I want to control some shit. But uh, yeah, I'm just hanging out today. Me and Jared are chilling. We're going out. Uh, I don't know if we can go to the mountain. It's the coronavirus. A lot of us lost our jobs. I lost my job. Uh, mostly everybody at the sober living house where I live at has lost our jobs. But you know what? We're still sober. And we're still doing this thing. But, uh, but yeah, that's about it. I've rambled on enough, Jared. <laughs>